Um, which do you prefer, Traxxas or Arma? Oh, man. <laughs> He's hitting hard. There we go. Hello. Hey. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. It's good meeting you guys, too. So, Alan, right? Alan, you're the dad? I'm yep. the dad. And my Hello. aunt. And you are? I am Augie. Augie, good to meet you. Good to meet you too, Brett. All right. That. We thought know. we had our slick green screen with a fake garage, but you've got that cool, like, ph 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 <laughs> photographic background there. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite as cool as a green screen, but I, I like the cars <laughs> in the background. That looks nice. <laughs> Thanks. That's yeah. the same when you're using your videos, right? It could be. Are those RC cars back there? Oh, no, no. No, those no, are no. real. Those are Lamborghinis. He was asking oh. you if the background you have now is the same one that you use. Oh, yeah. Video. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, yeah. Yeah, I'm in the studio right now. I've got this set up on my phone with a, like a little tripod on a box to make it all work. <laughs> our, our camera in here, you know, doesn't have internet or anything like that. <laughs> well, we do. That we're in our, we're in, we're ready. Well, we'll show you. Oh yeah. Okay. There yeah, you go. that's where we keep all our batteries. Yes, oh, nice. the lipo bags and stuff. As a matter that's of fact, right. huh? that's one of the videos we le we learned from him how to deal with lipo batteries, didn't we? Yeah. Where you said about like the ten things not to do or whatever, or the ten things to do. Yeah. 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 yeah right. I watched that one. That was a good video. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of good lipo info in there. They're just little small habits, you know. If you make with lipos, then it really pays off. Like storage charging, which I do yeah. all the time. Yeah, that's really good. And most people don't realize that if you storage charge, then your battery has a little bit more power in it. So next time you fully charge up, it doesn't take as long. So it's kind of nice. It is nice. Well, tell yeah. you what. Let's do this. Um, what I'll do, Brett, is, and, and people will see this too, is I'll show you what the video looks like ahead of time that we get a chance. Yep. But I think the recording is going, it has been recording. I think everything so far has been good. Uh, you haven't sworn like a sailor yet, which is really nice, Augie. I never swear. Um, but, uh, why don't we go ahead and jump into the, uh, the interview and go ahead and ask him some questions. Let's see. Remember, Augie, this is like 60 minutes. Obviously, there's some horrendous secret he's got and you've got to catch it can you do that <laughs> yeah i don't believe that there's a horrendous secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay go for it man okay so if you could choose any one remote control car and you can only oh. have that one for the rest of your life which one would you choose that's a really hard one that one rc car for the rest of your life because yeah, sometimes you want to go fast on road and sometimes you want to bash in the dirt. So it'd have to be probably something off road, four wheel drive. Uh, yeah, I don't, that's, I don't know. I would, I would, if I could only keep one RC car, it'd probably be the car that I already have. I have an old RC 10 gold pan. It's an original that I cleaned up and it's in mint condition. But they used to stamp the chassis back then, A, B, C, so you knew which series it came from. And the one that I have accidentally got stamped twice. So it has two A's on it overlapping, which is super rare. So I probably want to hold on to that one if I could only have one. That's a tough question. Pretty cool. <laughs> How about you, Augie? What would you take? You got your one know. car? That's a really tough choice. I love speed run, so the XL one's definitely a candidate. Yeah. I love going fast. That's um, a good one for going fast. Maybe an X Max? Oh, yeah. We don't own one of those. We own a Max. Yeah, we own a oh, small okay. one. Mini Max. We own a Max. <laughs> Kid watches the Max. Um, those, the Max are great. They're, those are really fun trucks. And it's just like the X Max, it's just shrunken down. Exactly. Yep. Just like just like you. Come on. <laughs> See, he, his doctor's predicting he'll. I'm six foot four. Doctor's predicting he'll be taller than me. So and I'm going to enjoy the midget stuff as long as I can. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Any follow up questions with that one, Augie? Um, can you, um, what's the top speed you've gotten with that car that you were talking about? 
Oh, the fastest I've ever driven a car was, I think, 86. That was with the felony that that we had. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, felony, was... the arm of felony. Basically, was... the, should I call it a jacked up infraction? Uh, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't call it slow. <laughs> it's not slow. <laughs> it's it's not, not slow. Not slow. But yeah, 86 miles an hour. That was the fastest I've gone, and it it got me sweating. That the heart starts pumping at those speeds, even when you're used to high-powered RC cars. That yeah. uh, it's hard to get used to that. So, what? How fast have you gone with your XO1? Just, I don't have an XO1. Not yet. That's the next car. Oh, 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 oh. Um, okay. Yeah, the fastest I've gone is actually. I'm not sure if it's completely accurate, but. The um, Traxxas Link app said I went 50 with a UDR. Yeah, I believe it. That's quick. There was a 6S battery. Instead of the 23Ss, we put a 1.6S in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. And yeah, the you were scared too, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's a scary thing to drive. Like my Rustler 4x4 VXL is actually not scary. But it's fast. Almost as fast, 46. Yeah. Well, if you accidentally hit yourself, that rustler isn't going to hurt quite as bad. <laughs> so, a little bit more comfortable. The max is probably the worst, though, to hit yourself. Oh, somebody. yeah. You don't want that hitting your ankles. Yep. But your max, I bet that thing, that should do like 60, but you have to change um, quite a bit of the gearing. But Yeah, the fastest I've gotten it is 47. Just one, one over the rustler. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty quick. With the off-road monster truck. Yeah. Okay, but you got to tell them this, okay? And we could share a video with you. I can send it to you an email. So for the American Heart Association, because people couldn't do walks, this year we did this thing. Choose a car, sponsor how far we can jump. Mm. One foot skateboard jump we were able to get on Amazon. This one foot on the end, one foot skateboard jump. And how far did you jump that, Max? 71 feet. Wow. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really far that you hit the ramp going wide open full speed yeah flat out dang man well that's that's further than me that's pretty dang far <laughs> one foot jump it wasn't even curved it's, it was flat but either way okay, <laughs> okay. now next question what sparked your interest in rc cars uh just I, it happened when i was a little kid I'm not even sure, can't even pinpoint exactly what happened, but uh, dad and uncles were into RC cars. And oh. back when I was a kid, they had commercials on TV for RC cars, which you don't see much now, but they were like Tyco and Radio Shack RC cars. And oh, they were so cool in the commercials. They were the best. So it kind of started there. And then because of dad and uncles got into the hobby side of it. But yeah, it's mainly just the people and environment around me mainly i have them to thank for that dad mm -hmm. <laughs> it's dad's fault yep Same see <laughs> yeah but dad and uncles the uncles really got into it big time and then kind of slowly pushed my dad into it so thankfully they did it's addictive it is addictive yeah it is and there's so many of them that it makes it really tough. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. We've spoken. The variety. Yeah, there's just so much to choose from. And uh, it's just it's kind of crazy. Cool. But yeah, that's all thanks to my family. That's cool. Okay. Um, what is the favorite, your favorite part of your job here? At, well, they're aiming. Um. Well, making videos is pretty, it's pretty special to get to do here. Um, but probably the coolest thing about it is just being surrounded by people who like what I like, chatting RC with people. Because there's so many people here at A-Main who raced or bash or were in RC before they got hired. And so it's just a good atmosphere. Lots of good people who have lots of experience in different backgrounds. And so that's nice to have especially when making videos. I present stuff, but a lot of the information comes from, you know, the other really smart people here. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I saw a good example of that, like when you were doing the nano sports against the CEO. of. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Kendall. That was a fun uh, one. Who won? Uh, unfortunately, it was the CEO. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he got me. It was a fun little battle. You no, him, why didn't you? No, no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh, no, it was, it was a challenge. The last match we did, we turned the speed on the cars all the way up because it's adjustable in the transmitter. And, uh, yeah, it, it <laughs> brings a new dimension to the game. <laughs> have you tried the Nanosport? Have you, give, have you uh, guys played? I haven't done the game, but we I've driven it. Yet. I've driven it. Oh, okay, but okay. I think it could be a racer if you, like, jack it up and maybe put the same motor in ESC as, like, um, what was that car called? The little ones with all sorts of bodies. Yeah, well, the, the mini, mini Zeus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, you put, if you put that in it, I think it could be a good racer. Well, guess, by the way, guess where we got our set, our uh, nano racer set from? Um, Amen. Amen. We did get it from Amen. Amen. All right. Exactly. One of your emails came through, said 99 bucks for a pair of them. And I'm like, I can't stop. We oh, were there winning. you go. <laughs> nice. Yep. Okay. Nice. We, um, what is the most extreme you have ever abused in RC car? Oh. Oh, oh boy. Most extreme I've ever. Ah. Uh, I'm really not one to abuse RC cars, but there's been um, a few times uh, they weren't filmed. It wasn't for a video that I was testing RC cars mm -hmm. that we would potentially sell here at A-Main Hobbies. And man, I just drove those things so hard into curbs, off of stuff, just trying to break them or see if there were any flaws. Um, we mm -hmm. drove those really hard because the goal was to find something wrong with them, if anything. Yeah. Um, I bet you did that with an X-Max. Um, yeah, there was an X. Did you see my X-Max video? I didn't see about? it. No, oh, I haven't. Well, seen I, have a, I have an X-Max video on my personal YouTube where we went out and broke it, although that wasn't our original intention. But <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, I got a lot of flack on the Internet for breaking it. and People thought that it was all on purpose and everything. And No. It must no. have been a bad crash of a broken X-Max. Uh, yeah, it just came down wrong on the arm. It's, oh. I was trying to do front flips and it just landed wrong because those things are super tough. It was probably the 20th crash. There's been some other cars that around here we just, just bash and drive hard. Honestly, every time I, we make a video and we go out and drive something, once we get the footage we need for the video, then we kind of really start laying into the cars. Um, because we, we can't break the car until we get all the footage and everything we need to complete the video. But if we break the car after that, that's okay, because then we can talk about it. Um, so, yeah, we sometimes we drive things really hard, um, especially if they're really powerful. Crawlers are really hard to be hard on. but Unless you do all those upgrades to make a TRX-4 go 50. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or have... <laughs> were those guys online on YouTube who were trying to do the speed runs with the six by six? Did you see that series? I, I did no, not no. see that. Yeah. Okay. It's funny. It doesn't. It didn't end well. I don't think. Do you see the guy <laughs> put the six S into the, uh, you know, with the one with the tracks? So. Oh, the Traxxas tracks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's a, you know, it's a sport model, right? The TRX four sport with the tracks, and he put a six S battery, and it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I need to see that. No, I have it. Huh, that sounds interesting. The tracks didn't come off? Nope, the, nope. nope. But it, it, it was funny, like he started in a, a, like a, a gravel parking lot and yeah. he was seeing it zoom back and forth. It'd be like watching a cat <laughs> that was, you know, on catnip or something. Then talk about going up hills without trouble. It just zoomed up. But the thing, the reason that came to mind is that I think that people, if you, RC cars are to have fun. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to yeah. break it. And I would not purposely break a car unless I was testing. You know what I mean? There's a reason to do it. But if people give you a hard time about breaking it. People give him a hard time about doing stuff like that. But they're for mm. fun, right? So, yeah. You know, if you can afford it, right? I'm not talking about gambling away your life savings here. If you can afford it, have some fun. And that means yeah, you have exactly. that. That's part of the reason. Just You're so you know, when I did the mat, when I did the max, we did the pre-runs. I didn't get further than say 20 feet because I'm paranoid and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. 
he has no fear and he took it off he had fun see that's the <laughs> difference right you should have yeah mm -hmm. that's and he good didn't break it i didn't break it uh, oh nice body came off one time <laughs> it did oh. <laughs> <laughs> well all right um that's great what else you got for me? Um, which do you prefer, Traxxas or Arma? Oh, man. <laughs> He's hitting hard. <laughs> well, huh, I'll just say that I'm, we're, I'm working on a video, Traxxas <laughs> versus Arma. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, man. It should be interesting. Hopefully, doesn't open any canned worms. I don't know if, uh, if, do I have a favorite Traxxas versus Arma? <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. I will say that there are vehicles from both companies that I really like, but I don't like all the cars that each company offers. Um, but they each have some real gems, man. Real, real quality cars. But I don't really have a favorite. I don't, I don't have favorites for brands. But I have favorite for products, especially if they knock it out of the park and just create something awesome. You have to embrace it, you know, regardless of the brand. Um, I know an example of a car that's really good from Arma, the Traxxas Outcast 8S BLX, which surprisingly is not taken the 6S BLX's place on the top 10 cars of 2019 list. Mm. What, what list is that? Um, actually, it's a video from you. Oh, um, oh our top 10 list. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. your ten, think, top 10 list. I don't think the Outcast was out then, the 8S Outcast. Oh, the 8S Outcast. I, isn't there Did an you say 8S Creighton? Yeah, I said Outcast. Isn't oh, there oh. an 8S Creighton, though? Yeah, there is. There is. Um, and I don't necessarily think that it's better than the 6S, even though it's bigger, but oh. that doesn't always correlate to better. It, it just all depends on what you're looking for out of these RC cars, I guess. But yeah. at the time we made that video, those I don't think those big 8S were out yet, but I could be wrong. Oh, that, that's a good point. We're going to have to keep a count <laughs> of releases. Yeah. We're working on another top 10 list. Um, for 2020? Yeah, and that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> 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 um. Okay, next question. How good would you consider yourself at driving these RC cars? Oh, I'm pretty dang good. Yeah, these things are like guitars to me, and I've been playing songs since I was a little kid. So <laughs> I, I, can, I can strum a tune pretty good. Yeah, I'd say for my age and how long I've been in the, uh, been in the hobby, I'm relatively good. 71 feet good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that is pretty good well you have the massive benefit of being young too so mm -hmm. if you just stick with it you get the hand eye coordination the reflex skills man you'll be really good well starting, i already start Sorry. starting things like that when you're young are just so positive for you yeah and uh, you're right i'm sure you're already pretty are really good but there's <laughs> like always room for improvement of course, there always is. Like, I mean, I think I already have the hand-eye coordination because I've been playing a lot of video games. Mm. <laughs> and they work exactly the same, right? Forza Horizon yeah. and, and RC cars, it's like well, one of the same. mostly the same. Exactly the same. Except that they yeah. never flip over in Except Forza. Guns N' Roses doesn't play when we're doing the RC cars. Maybe we're going to have to make up for that. <laughs> they so, should. Hey, what are they, the first ones? Here? What, what, what's it called? The game that has the Guns um, N' Roses on Burnout game? Paradise. Burnout Paradise. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a car game, though? Yeah. Yes, it's a car game. Okay. All right. Good good one. One. If you haven't played it you should, and you play video games, you should try it out. No, I haven't heard of that one. Um, yeah, that sounds good. That's a good way to get it up. You, I bet your eye hand coordination is really good. Okay. Um, Have you tried racing at all, or do you guys primarily bash? Well. I have gone to the local the local racetrack, um, mm -hmm. and I'd say I get pretty good times with my regular slash. So it hasn't raced yet. We, we, we only found it, well, we knew it was there, but we hadn't gone to it until about a month ago. So he goes there and he does the practice sessions. Mm -hmm. He hasn't actually raced yet, but he's getting used to it. His slash, the two-wheel drive slash. Um, so 
And we'll see. He's going to bring his. We just barely upgraded the uh, the VXL upgrade for his Rustler. Yeah, I already um, love it. Um, and so he's going to bring that out there and see what he can do there. Plus, you you have a WL Toys you want to upgrade. WL him. Toys fourteen four zero zero one. Have you heard about that one? Um, I think I watched a, a video on that. Maybe, maybe. It's pretty popular. Fourteen zero 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 one. Yeah, yeah, it's a little buggy, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a little buggy, less than 100 bucks, even with batteries. You yeah, can less than 100 I bucks. think the, the, I watched the video from the RC Kiwis, uh, if you guys oh. watched it. Yeah. <laughs> They're like my favorite new channel, so they made a video on that. Oh, I didn't know that. We'll have to check it out. Well, they actually That's cool did, that you have one. Did a video about another WL Toys car that they said is now their favorite over the other one. So oh, we'll have to look for come that. on. <laughs> <laughs> like, apparently, that brushed motor can take up to 3S. Oh, all right. We'll That's be finding good. out this weekend, probably. <laughs> <laughs> See if it can well, hit that, um, that 40 mile an hour mark. Um, do I think you'll hit it? No, so no, no. See, uh -oh. if, see if we can hit it. Yeah. What mm -hmm. do you want to take a wager on? Speed it? test it. So what, tell them what we got it <laughs> yeah. with the uh, with the two us. Where we get it? Two us, we got it to I think like twenty seven. I thought we hit thirty. No, we hit uh, thirty. We hit thirty. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and it it's box says it's uh, sixty kilometers, right? which is thirty seven miles. So okay. We'll find out. We'll we'll let you. We'll let them know afterward. How's that? What are you? Yep. What are you upgrading? You're, are you swapping out the electronics, or are you going to go for Probably the three S? Probably just motor and ESC, since that's the simplest. Mm. Well, in the future, we're going to do the 3S. Supposedly, the existing thing will take a 3S. So we're just going to do that. Worst case scenario is he burns it out and then he steals dad's motor in ESC. So we'll see. <laughs> um, we that one. Maybe I could eventually fit a Valenian kit in there. Who knows? Could, man, we could make it 6S if possible. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt a 6S could fit in there. <laughs> Maybe two three S's though. <laughs> the battery probably weighs as much as the car. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's got a metal bottom, so it's got a, it's a metal chassis. Oh, nice! Yeah, it's already pretty heavy. Okay, what's okay, next? Okay, next. Um, do you like your job at Amain? Oh yeah, yeah, you bet. It was, yeah. No, it's really good. It's local. I lived here in the in Chico. That's where Amain is for a few years before I even knew it was here it was crazy but yeah it's this is the place to be for rc uh hands down we gotta go there eventually maybe bring uh an x01 see if there's a good straightaway all right well, maybe <laughs> you, we'll buy a pretty big track by your thing right <laughs> yeah yeah there's two off-road tracks out there the dirt one is like the big primary eight scale track and then off to the side there's a carpet track for the 10 scale smaller cars. So I remember like you um, brought that fifth scale one to the carpet track in a video one time. You didn't do anything heavy uh, though because it would damage it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can't yeah, remember what that car is called. Yeah, that was like, the low speed BBXLE 2.0. Yeah. It made the track look really small, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then you were racing it on the eighth track and then you showed a 10 scale. One. That was near it, and you were like, 10 scale car. <laughs> <laughs> I it, That 10 scale truck on the track looked so tiny, I couldn't believe it. That's why I had to label it. It was like, wow, it, it looks like a micro <laughs> compared to that buggy. It, it looks like the WL Toys compared to the UDR. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> I think Matt, <laughs> Matt still has that DBXLE. Uh, oh. He's done a bunch of stuff to it. He likes it. Those things are really cool. A little too expensive for me, though. Was that a low C, you said? Yeah, the DBXLE 2.0 Desert Buggy. You got to write that down. Well, we've got, <laughs> we got a video now. We can just play it back. Oh, yeah, what yeah, yeah. What was the name of that yeah. thing? <laughs> the DBXLE? I forgot. I forgot it. Quickly. Don't worry. We can, we'll, we'll rewind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had it. You had it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question. What was your first ever RC car? Oh, hobby grade or just um, RC car? Uh, let's go with hobby grade. Cause yeah. Okay, cool. yeah, because first RC car, man, I couldn't tell you. It was really way back. My first hobby grade RC car, oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. My first RC car it was an RC10T that I bought from Sheldon's Hobbies 
in the Bay Area here in California. The hobby shop is still around. And my dad and I went in there. I was I had enough money for the sport version of the truck. There was two versions. Okay. The sport had the sport had uh, bushings, threaded rods for turnbuckles. They weren't adjustable. Mm. It also used dog bones in the rear end. But if you paid a little bit more and got the team truck, you had CVVs, full bearings, adjustable turnbuckles. Well, I went in there with enough money for the sport kit after saving my money for who knows how long. And when we went to the counter, my dad had bought the team version for me. Oh. I just came for the difference. And so it was quite a surprise. And I probably slept with that truck every night. I took it to school for show and tell. Huh. I wish I, I wish I still had it now so badly. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's long gone. I'm not even sure what happened to it now, but it was a special truck to me. How old were you? Um, um, I was in the third grade, I think, when I took it for show and tell. No, maybe it was later than that. Fifth grade, I think. Something like that. Fourth or fifth grade when I took it for show and tell. Because oh. I, I remember this very distinctly. I turned the truck on. I had a seven pump cell NICAD battery pack. Seven cells, little extra power. Yep. And so I put it down on the low slung carpet in the classroom. I put it in reverse and then I punched the throttle. And the truck popped the wheelie and wheelied all the way across the room. And all the boys in the classroom stood up and went, whoa! <laughs> that was like me when you first got the Mac. The, girl, the girls didn't care. But man, I was like the hero to all the boys in my class that day. It was super cool, man. Must have been. It, what, yep. what type of car? Is it like a, a basher? Uh, the RC10T was a stadium truck, two-wheel drive. Truck. It still exists, but it's in its sixth version, the RC10T 6.2. There's been a lot of versions since then. Maybe we should try to buy the original one, the one that you got. eBay, yeah. I've looked, but they're just kind of, they're just so pricey what people want for them. They're rare? Yeah, they're kind of hard to find now, especially in good, clean condition. Just like this car behind us. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, yeah. the real car. <clears throat> <laughs> what was your first RC car? I'm curious. My first one was, this was back when I didn't really care for it. Andromeda, I can't remember the model name, but it was like... DT4.18, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. It was like a little four-wheel drive buggy? Yeah, yeah. well, no, it's, 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 it's like a truck. It's a short course truck. And, and we got it like, I don't know, four years ago, maybe five years ago for him as a Christmas gift. Yeah, but right. he wasn't interested. So a couple couple years ago, I said, "Hey, look, how about I pay you? I'll buy it off you." And I put I GoPro on and did some videos. Well, this year I broke it back out and I said, "Hey, let's go do it." And that was it. And like we, after oh, yeah. I started trying it, I was like, "Cool, this is pretty fun." Yeah. Cool. Like I did try to jump it, but the um the little thing while I was trying to jump it off wasn't big enough. And the car didn't have enough speed, plus had such a small run up. How about the baseball field? Did you enjoy using it on the Oh, yeah. Field? I wanted to take the slash there, but dad was like, it's a bit big. Well, the, the gotcha is with, with a little dramada, it didn't tear up the baseball field too much, right? But if, if we took the slash or the, the max or whatever, the spinning the wheels and stuff. But yeah. yeah, I know. We've been kicked out of a park for that. And we were, I thought we were taking it pretty easy. But man, yeah, those baseball fields are great for sliding around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll have to take the Latrax Desert Pre Runner to that baseball field. Ooh. Do you still have your drama to truck? We yeah. do. It's back there. I tell you what, you keep talking oh. for a second. Oh, nice. Can we have that follow up question. I'll go grab it. That follow up question, which is what cars he heard is coming out that he. Go ahead, you know what car have you heard that you know, is coming out that you you're really looking forward to? Uh, the new cars coming out, man. There's a few of them that I would love to just take a look and get my hands on. Um, Armas released a whole bunch of new stuff: the EXB Creighton and um, the Mojave. I haven't seen them. They look amazing. The new version of the Creighton looks great. The Big Rock 3S BLX. I'd like to just check these cars out. The low C Super Baja Ray 2.0, that would be cool to check oh, out. That would we be have awesome. the first one. 
but yeah, I would just I just can't get my hands on on the other cars. So there are a few. Hey, look at that! Yeah, that does color look familiar. It's even got light buckets on the roof, right? Yeah. Yep, they are functional. I I recognize that. That's Have a cool truck. Them? Oh yeah, where it it you know it's a one eighteenth I think right. I think this is it like, is yeah. amazing. It really does go, and you can go into not way deep grass, do gravel. This this thing I. It's one of the best that we've at this size. It's one of the best that Should I've. Should I take ever off had. the body shell? That's cool. Oh, we're good. We're good. That might be a good one to keep, Augie. Might be real specialty one day. Yeah, I hope I don't lose this one like you lost. Unfortunately, lost. You know. Well, now you know. You've gotten advice. You learned from <laughs> his right. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, any other final questions before we wrap up? Mm, let me think of some. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't think of any new. Uh, oh, oh, I, I already answered that, right? Yeah. Yeah, you already answered it. <laughs> There's probably some other really cool stuff coming out too. There's always at any time, awesome things. I just have can't you, think oh. of any now. Have you seen the ad for the new Red Cat? What do they call them? Low riders. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks sweet. It's so <laughs> cool. Hydraulics. I want to, I'd, yeah, I'd like I'm, to see, I would just want to see under the body, like how do they have it working? It doesn't, I've seen lowriders where they use servos in place of the shocks, but it doesn't, it looks a little different how they've designed that. And I just want to see it. But they just started cool. shipping them. So there should be, there are already some videos out there, but they just started shipping them. So there should be some videos. Um, oh, okay. Imagine giving that a real, like giving it bigger wheels, like max. <laughs> and then keeping the thing and then bunny hopping with it. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be cool, man. That would be cool. That lowrider really interests me, though. Do you like it? Mm, it's cool. It's not a fast car, though. I love the fast ones. He's got a need uh, for speed. Mom and dad, Yeah, I like the speed. Um, but we've got a lot of crawlers, which, by the way, speaking of Red Cat, we got the uh, John 8 V2. Mm. What a beautiful yeah. Cool. Yeah, it, it's the only thing I like about it is the uh, the body, and yeah. it, okay, it can go a, a tiny bit fast. It, it it does all. Yeah, it's not it's not fast. It doesn't it's have the two speed and stuff like that. It does like ten. It, yeah, it's not too bad. But yeah, he has a need for speed. So um, I would say probably our most fun car is the X Max, right? Max. I we mean, don't Max. have an X Max. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> At least he didn't call me. Yeah, many Max. <laughs> well, we should let him run. Um, yeah. It's not late as late there, but uh, we should let him get back to his fun. Big thank yous. Thank yeah. You for, you know. Chat and RC. Hey, you're very welcome. <laughs> yeah, I love thanks for inviting RC. me on. That was a nice surprise. I really appreciate that. It was fun chatting RC with you guys. And it's, it it's always great to see, you know, families are seeing together. Yep. It's a, it was a pleasure to meet you. It was. Well, on that note, tell you what, we'll see you later. See Let me you. stop the recording here quick and then. And All then right.